suspect behind a college student's killing is in jail, but police are still working to find another person they say was at the scene when Jaton Sterling was gunned down near Clark Atlanta University this week. The 20 year old was a student athlete with a bright future. Atlanta News first anchor Tori Cooper spoke to police about the arrest and what they're doing to keep these students safe. Police say students watching tonight should feel confident because they have three different law enforcement agencies watching their surroundings and they have boots on the ground where this homicide happened. They also say they have increased patrols in the area and they have one man in custody. We were able to identify the perpetrator, a Keontae uh, Holloman Peoples. Police say if you are a Metro Atlanta student, you have a few reasons to feel safer tonight. He was charged with uh, murder, felony murder, aggravated assault. On Thursday, Atlanta police say they arrested 25-year-old Keontae Holloman Peoples for the felony murder of beloved Clark Atlanta University baseball player, 20-year-old Jaton Sterling, who was shot and killed Tuesday outside of the Catholic Center on Beckwith Street near Clark Atlanta University. Uh, there was a vehicle parked in the uh, parking lot behind the Catholic Center. Uh, we know that uh, Jatan got inside that vehicle. Uh, there was some type of uh, dispute that occurred inside the uh, vehicle. Students have been on edge ever since. We'll say um, that security does need to do a better job around here. Like, I don't, I don't feel safe walking around sometimes. Police say this wasn't a random act of violence. The gunman is from out of town and wasn't a student. But the victim, Jaton Sterling, was communicating with the suspect before he got in the car when gunfire was exchanged. The suspect was wounded too, and they say he wasn't alone. Still early, uh, who had weapons, who shot who. Uh, and again, it's still early on uh, to identify there is a indi another individual that we know that was in the car. Clark Atlanta University campus police say surveillance cameras are all around campus, around the surrounding streets. And students should feel protected because of the number of extra eyes paying attention to their surroundings. And the collaboration that we have with the City of Atlanta Police Department, as well as Fulton County, has increased patrol around that particular area, around the campus. Now, police also say that they have tracked down the vehicle that Jaton Sterling was shot and killed inside of, and they are hoping that it will yield new evidence that will help them track down the other man that they're looking for. Reporting in downtown Atlanta, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First.